Okay, so now we've created the new database. What we need to do is uh, import the database that we exported earlier. And now we need to just scroll down to the databases section again. And in this case, I'm going to go to the my uh, PHP my admin. So here we are, WP test. I'm going to select that. And now I want to import this database and I'm going to select it from here. And then, quite simply, uh, no, I don't have to select that at all, and just go on there and it will import the database. Uh, import has been successfully finished and the 42 queries executed. So it's imported that meta that table data into that particular database that we created there. So that's how simple it is.